hi there I wanted to show you this tool uh, which I purchased it's a, a moisture meter it's used for uh, testing the, the moisture in wood so this is essential if you're buying wood stores it's essential to have one of these so wet unseasoned wood is great if you're gonna sit on it for um, you know uh, maybe a year or so just to let it dry out and let it season nicely so all the resins just dis dissipate from it but if you're looking for um, quick a quick source of wood uh, to burn straight away then these things are really useful okay so I'm gonna just show you so I've, I've purchased a uh, two sets of wood and uh, this is this is the unseasoned lot here which was sold as seasoned um, for over a year okay now when it arrived in the 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 driveway first thing i do was stick this into the block of wood just to see if the chap was actually telling the truth now that's a lot of wood i got for the price i paid for it so i was quite happy to store this but if you're not happy to store this you need to have one of these meters so let's let's have a look okay and see we're looking for about maybe 18 percent okay and that is sitting at I don't know if you can see that 70% okay let's pick another random one okay over there 70% okay and now we're gonna go a little bit further back so we just 34% so that's quite a high moisture contact if you want to burn it immediately so now we're gonna try one of this uh, the old stores of wood which have been sitting here for quite a while from a more reputable seller and 19% Okay, now that's 19% that's been sitting in this garage for a wee while. So, the, the moisture meter allows me to tell me if I'm getting what I paid for now. I knew that the price I was getting these, uh, these uh, high moisture uh, content wood was actually very good. It was too good. Okay, so that makes me think this is just a merchant who has set up over the winter period to make quick cash. And he'll tell you anything. In this particular case, he said, it's been seasoned for a long time, but it uh, got caught in the rain last night, and that's why the moisture content is is high. Now, one way is to smell the wood. If it smells as if it's fresh wood, then chances are it's fresh wood. Okay. When I saw this, I thought, well, yeah, that's not exactly what he was meant to sell me, but you know, that's a lot of wood for the price. So what I'll do is I'll just take it, shove it in there, sit on it. I've still got enough uh, dry wood to last me this season and this will go into a wood store when I've got time to uh, pop it into a nice uh, uh, wood uh, wood cabin just to make it uh, dry out. Um, so that's buying wet wood or unseasoned wood is a cheap way of getting a good wood for next year but not a good wood for to burn for this year. Um, this wood here you can see it, it looks dry, it's extremely light, and that's another way to actually tell. Extremely light, whereas in the other one is heavy. Why? Because it's got a lot of water in it. So look out for the excuses, such as uh, it's been caught out in the rain, or it's been out there for two years. But if it's been out there for two years and it's still got a moisture content of 70%, listen, it's no use to you. Okay, it's fresh cut. So that's no use to you. Uh, make sure that you don't end up in a situation where you've got a ton of wood and you've only got space for a ton of wood because otherwise you're not going to have a fire that uh, this winter okay i hope that's useful uh, don't get ripped off know what you're buying uh, play the game cheers